So it sounds like things have been tight financially. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Well, my car was repossessed quite a while ago. Um, I don't have any money, and all my credit cards are maxed out. What's your current housing situation? Well, since last week, I've been staying at this homeless shelter, and my friends won't let me stay at their place anymore. So you've been at the shelter for about a week. How's that been? It's terrible. Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to find a job if I don't have a place to live. And I feel like I'm this person that everyone looks at like an oddball or something. Yeah, it can be hard when people first move into the shelter. A lot of folks feel like folks are looking at them or have a sense of shame. And it's a difficult situation. Clients often experience socially or economically challenging issues as shaming. When clients have to negotiate with circumstances that are often beyond their control, it may influence how they feel about themselves. It may promote a sense of failure and poor self-esteem. Validating the client's experience helps to affirm their humanity and reduce the stigma associated with their problem. What, what's going to happen to me? Well, I'd like to work with you and talk a little bit about what it's like to be in the shelter and figure out what's going to happen from here, if that's okay with you. Yeah, sure. Shifting between the psychological and the environmental is an important skill for the social worker to have related to justice. The social worker can help the client understand that external circumstances may not be completely in their control. I, I got to get out of that shelter, you know. I, I can't believe how crowded it is. It's, it's got all these rules and, and schedules, too. You know, I, I once was late and I didn't get anything to eat. So, also, you, you got to sleep on top of your things. Even then, I got my glasses stolen. Fortunately, I had another pair. But. You've got to help me find a place to live. I, this is, this is, I can't do this. I'll try to help, Brad. And as we go along, you can tell me if my help makes sense or not. Because um, you ultimately make the decisions about this. Um, I was thinking, do you have any family or friends who could help you get reestablished? Some of the issues clients face can be profoundly alienating. Assessing a social network such as friends and family and other supports can be helpful in designing an intervention. This may reinforce that the client is not alone, and if available, those resources may be utilized in addition to other services the social worker may be able to provide. My brother's families don't want anything to do with me anymore. They, they, don't want me, they don't want their families exposed to someone who has depression once in a while. Yeah, it can be hard for families and friends and for the person who's feeling depressed. Folks don't know exactly how to be or what to say, and sometimes the help that they can offer isn't so helpful to the person who's got the depression. Does it feel like that to you? Clients may experience multiple factors that contribute to their sense of alienation and stigmatization. The social worker needs to appreciate the interlocking and mutual reinforcement of oppression in people's lives. In this case, poverty, job loss, homelessness, aging, and mental illness. The social worker assesses for the intersection of these social, economic, and psychological challenges and provides support for each presenting concern. Yeah, it sure does. You know, my friends help me out with uh, paying for a bus pass or um, letting me have something to eat once in a while. But, uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's kind of scary. And, uh, you know, the people in the shelter, you know, I think some of them are crazy and using drugs. i, I got to get out of here. So I'm not going to snow you, Brad. The shelter's a really tough place to be. But it sounds like it's either the shelter right now or being on the street. And in the short term, probably the shelter's a, a better place to be than the street. Well, I, I get that. I'm, I'm going to do my best to figure this out, but we've, I, I've got to get another place.
the social worker often feels empathy and wants to rescue the client. The social worker shouldn't offer false hope. It's important to validate the client's experiences without minimizing the difficulty the client faces or overemphasizing these challenges. The social worker offers realistic help and the professional relationship can provide a sense of continuity for the client in an otherwise chaotic situation. Remind me, how old are you again, Brad? 52, why? Huh. I'm thinking you might qualify for senior housing. Um, there's this organization locally that's trying to end homelessness among seniors. And with your permission, I could give them a call, find out what the criteria is, find out about the application if that was all right with you. Professional social workers guided by the code of ethics have the responsibility to promote social and economic empowerment. And they need to be aware of resources that attend to these issues. By brokering with other agencies, they know what resources are available and they know how to advocate for the client and influence the system in order to meet the client's needs. Yeah, sure, where would I be living? Well, I don't know that. Let me give them a call, find out the information, and then I can share that with you. Yeah, good. Let's do it. All right. Well, let's make an appointment for like two days from now, and I'll give them a call and I'll show you the information, and we'll go from there.